the greatness of india has always been to produce a new thought and i feel that the future of mankind is a spirituality with high technology because high technology allows the utilization of the raw material and the energy resources in a very efficient manner to give you the final quality of energy required and very high technology and with spirituality to curb the greed should be the mantra of development mm -hmm. ultimately it comes down to the greed uh, there is uh, if all of us live with our, within our means and if all of us live whatever um, uh, we, our needs are then the carbon footprint will automatically come down for example you will wear one shirt and one pant at a time you will drive one car you will live in one house so what is the need for having 200 shirts and pants and shoes or having three four houses all over the place or having 10 cars people who are insecure they uh, shopping becomes a uh, outlet for that insecurity uh, you go to shop for the insecurity because your neighbor has this thing you don't have you want to show off and that ultimately comes to ultimately the thing of how powerful your brain is powerful in your your brain means that you can resolve all these issues in a proper manner when you are very insecure then your the memory of your brain has reduced and then you simply are keeping up with the Jones. So I think what is required is a sensitization of the young people about what is other things which can make their life much more sensible, enjoyable and um, uh, much more fruitful um, than just uh, pursuit of uh, these material goods. Mm -hmm. This cannot come overnight but I think there is a whole battery of people in our age uh, to go around the country talking with them and that is what I do I this is a major thing that I do whenever any student or any um, institute invites me I go there and talk about this normally when I go to the all these um, uh, colleges and uh, IITs IMs I tell them I said uh, just on a piece of paper write what you want to do in life what you want to achieve in life today one year five years what you don't want to do in life and then once you write down because this is what is giving time to yourself and when you write down then you start thinking how do i do it it's just the pursuit of money instead of pursuit of happiness they are going in the wrong part of uh, path of pursuit of money a money which is not used because money the quality of life is defined by the velocity of money when the money which is simply sitting as dead money is of no use to anybody. And this is what comes out as an insecurity. Because of insecurity, they keep on talking about having uh, more and more money. And that's all. So if some people, somebody, you know, we all should go and, uh, uh, you know, make these youngsters aware of, sensitize them that you should use that money for betterment of your life, betterment. For example, I do not know, you know, it's a very sad thing. They work 16, 16 hours in these uh, high tech companies, etc. Because they can then spend the weekend. The ferocity of their vacation is exactly the same as the ferocity of their work. So how are they enjoying? Because then again the insecurity comes because they want to go and touch. Oh, I saw 10 places. Because in their next party, they would like to tell their friends, Oh, I went there, I went there. What did they achieve? What is the depth of uh, um, achievement? What is the depth of enjoyment that never comes out? So this is what is a, is a total continuous sorry state of affairs of this game of upmanship. And the first thing that happens when you go internally yourself is that you become a humbler person. So the only way to reduce your carbon footprint and to become a sustainable society is to reduce your insecurities. And those insecurities can be reduced by going internally, by looking more honestly at yourself, 
or in other words becoming spiritual that's the only solution